The boy who noticed the Washington DIC picture under the stop making new thrombi mnemonic. was terrified as he ran away from the oozing blood under the pot with the dimes in it. Right near the micro angel flowing in the blood. Okay, so in this scene we were talking about DIC, and it was represented by this Washington DIC picture on the wall over here. I guess there was a typo, it should have said DC, but it said DIC. So this is going to remind us that we're talking about DIC over here, disseminated intravascular coagulation. So this boy over here noticed the picture, and he also noticed that there was the mnemonic for DIC causes on top of it. Stop making new thrombi. This stands for S for snake bites. Snake bites could cause DIC. Sepsis, trauma, obstetric complications if the amniotic fluid leaks into the circulation. Pancreatitis, malignancy such as adenocarcinoma, nephrotic syndrome, and transfusion. So these are the causes of DIC. What happens in DIC? So what happens in DIC is that there's a pathologic activation of the coagulation cascade. And that's represented over here by the warning over here that said coagulation cascade has been pathologically activated. Normally the coagulation cascade should only be activated, let's say when a person gets a cut. But in DIC, it's pathologically activated when it shouldn't be. The problem with this is that it leads to blood clots all over the body consuming clotting factors. So clotting factors will go down and this leads to a bleeding state. That is, there's gonna be blood oozing from puncture sites, such as from IV sites, from the mouth, and other mucosal surfaces. And that's represented by the blood all over the room flowing out of the wall. I don't know where it's coming from, but it's supposed to remind us of the oozing blood seen in DIC. If we take a look on top over here, there is this random pot. The pot that's high up reminds us of the elevated PT and PTT. And inside the pot are the dimes with the D on it. Dimes with D for D-dimers. And this represents the increased fibrin degradation products, the D-dimers. We have the micro angel over here representing microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. This occurs because due to all the clot formations, there's widespread microthrombi that develop, and this leads to ischemia and infarction. We have over here a picture of the schistocytes, also associated with DIC. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this scene on DIC. Take care. <laughs>